hey, a million years ago, I did a talk show, and that's what you're gonna see, so enjoy. It's just short clips, but I think you'll dig it. She's actually great. Hi. How are you? I'm glad to see you. I'm just so proud. <laughs> it's very trippy. It is, it here. is. I'm sitting here with Neil Patrick Harris, who you all know as Doogie Howser, but I, I, I go way back with him from when he was 13. It is so odd to see this great big man sitting there. <laughs> it's very, it's bizarre doing this here yeah. with you. But it'll be all right, won't yeah, it? Yeah, oh, we'll be fine. What are you doing? Nothing, I'm just, I'm working. And I, uh, I just bought a place. You bought a house. Bought a house. <laughs> uh huh. Now see, this is this is just weird, because you were like the first person I ever met, star like right. ever met, for Clara's art. Yeah. Do you remember the first time we met? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I was flown in for uh, <laughs> a meeting with you and the director, Bob Mulligan. Right. And uh, I drove with the producer to your house in Malibu. Right. And we got there and I was, I was just freaking out. I mean, I was panicking, because it was like, you're a famous movie star. And I came into the house and it was this great house, you remember it, you lived there, with uh, <laughs> glass walls and you were sitting there getting your hair dreadlocked long for right. the first time. Right. You hadn't had it long, you kept it short. That's right. And you sat there and we just talked and you asked me who my favorite movie star was and actors and right. what I enjoyed and and then that was it and we talked for a little while and then you just sat there and you're a very peaceful person you know you do that to a guy well I should hope so do you know that you only came up to my shoulder oh yeah you were up to my shoulder then and now you're like six foot tall yeah it's really a it's mind-boggling and you're you remember I I used to try to lead you down the path because I tell you all these terrible things. <laughs> tell you all these terrible things. You weren't things. the best of influences. No, I wasn't. But you did pretty good. You grew pretty well. Doing those tequila shots was really. Well, you did quite a few of them. <laughs> you only did three and fell over, which I was impressed <laughs> yeah, with. Well, you know. Do you miss sort of the normal teenage stuff? Like the. Well, not really. I, you know, so we shoot six months and then we're off six months. Right. So I would film for six months and then go back to school in New Mexico right. for the other six months. So I, I got to be involved in some of it, and at the same time I got to go to award ceremonies and right. do you know, The Tonight Show, meet Johnny Carson, and yeah. do things that no one else would have gotten to do. Right. So I missed football games and I missed uh, pep rallies and stuff, but I got to do some other things. So now, how do you avoid I guess the trouble's most, I don't want to call you a child actor, but because that's not where you are now, but how, how do you avoid the, the pitfalls that most of these young guys seem to fall in? I mean, there's a lot of young yeah. actors in trouble. Well, I think, I think a lot of it stems from your family. And I've have, I'm really blessed with a great family. My parents are still married, uh, have been for 25 years, and they, they don't live in this state. And I think that, I think that that's a problem for a lot of people. A lot of you know Gary Coleman and, and these people that had a problem. Their their family life was horrible. I mean they 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 were fighting. Their parents were taking money from them. They was they're divorcing and blah blah blah. And so when they would go to the set, it would be like this great. People would bring them snacks and and wait you know, do everything for them. And then they'd go home and they hated it at home. So they didn't they couldn't figure out where was what was normal. So when the show was over. They're SOL, you know, they're just there with nothing to do and just their family to deal with. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's a problem that I'm, that I don't have to deal with at all. And I think the fact that, that it's, that I have a sense of normality and my parents aren't stage parents, are very hesitant about me even working, didn't even want me to get involved because this is a really weird town and the, the morals of people aren't normal. So now, what do you remember about Clara Sod? It was quite something, wasn't it? I remember everything. I mean, it was my first experience. I, I honestly remember just about any story. It's a lovely film. It's a great film, yeah. I think, that yeah. I was in it, so. 
Well, it's okay to say that if you're in it. Yeah. Believe me, there'll be enough in like a <laughs> career to say, oh, I, no, I wasn't in it. <laughs> you know, I know this from experience. So you make this movie, you get this Golden Globe nomination. I was yeah. very thrilled for you, Thanks. very distressed for myself. <laughs> but only for a second, only for a second. It was really, I mean, it was an honor. I, I had no idea. And you're, you're nominated against all these, you know, Martin Landau and all these people. And, <laughs> and then they say, and the winner is, and you're like, I mean, you're being 15. You, you just, it was, it was, a, it was a, I was like, <sighs> we finished. I couldn't Panting. breathe. Yes. I had to walk out. It's kind of embarrassing, but it was, yeah, it was neat. I mean, the whole experience overall was yeah. just, was just wonderful. You couldn't have been a better person to lose my, you know, my, my actor's, my actor's virginity too. with. Yes. yes.